What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you guys how to change brakes on a 2006 Ford F-250. This will work on years from 1999 to 2010. We're going to change the front disc brakes. You want to get you some nitro gloves, latex gloves to work in. That way you don't have to worry about cleaning your hands. You can just pull these off. Do what you got to do. Put another pair on. To get started, you want to spray everything down with some brake cleaner. Brake cleaner evaporates pretty quick. I'm trying to clean some of the mess off of it. Got that cardboard down there to catch that brake cleaner. You want to use brake cleaner before and after, before to get the brake dust off of it. And then after, you want to make sure you don't have any grease or anything on the disc, the rotor. If you have any oil or grease on the rotor, it's going to cause the brake hang up. Got two caliber bolts right here. We're going to take them out. That's a 5.8. I got a 5.8 socket. Put force down on it, or you can just uh, hold hold a ratchet in one hand and just smack it a couple times. Comes right loose. Should come right off. Normally, if you're just changing the brakes, you'd leave that brake line on it. But since I'm going ahead and changing the caliper today, and that'll be on a uh, separate video. I went ahead and just took it off. But normally you'd leave that on there if you just changing the brakes there. The brake caliper won't come right off. You can use a uh, C-clamp. I'm going to do this right now to see if I can squeeze it in. See if I can get this squeezed in here a little bit. There it is. Looks like it just needed a little persuasion. All right, normally when you're replacing the brakes, you're not going to pull the brake line off unless you're changing the caliper, but this should come right off. Your brakes are going to be worn out. When you put the old caliper back on the new brakes, you're going to have to do something like this. You're going to put the old brake pad in there, take a C clamp, twist it in, and push these pistons all the way in where to go back over the, the new, because your new brake pads are going to be wider, and that caliper may be in from where the brakes are wore out, so you're going to push these pistons in with this C-clamp and widen it up where it'll go over the top of the brakes. But it's going to look something like that, and you're just going to twist it in and push that piston down right there. And you can put it, you can move it on the other side. This is a dual piston caliper. You don't look too bad when compared to the new one. I'm going to hit it with a little more brake lane. I'm going to take a wire brush and try to get some of this got any kind of loose material that can hang up. Yeah. Kind of clean those grooves up where the brake pad slides into. Now these are the brakes I got at AutoZone, Duralast Gold, semi-metallic, it's the best ones they had, I paid about 65 bucks, these are uh, for both sides, comes with the new clips, so these brakes don't look too worn out, but since uh, they got hot, I'm going to go ahead and replace them. Alright, and I got a bottle of caliper grease. You can grease around here, these grooves. It's got a boot on it. We'll take a little bit of this grease. Put it on these uh, caliper retainers. On her back end. Want the excess off. Once she slides in and out real good. Like I said, it's got a rubber boot on it. You can just pop it off. Put your little grease on it. Pop it back on there. Wipe off the excess. Spin it around. Yeah, there's a new brake pad. 
here's the old brake pad not too terribly bad but like I said these brakes got hot because uh, the caliper hung up since that happened I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put new brakes on it looks like the brake pads are uh, identical the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna put a little caliper grease in here kind of make sure those spring clips slide real good you don't have to use that if you don't want to so now we're gonna put our brakes back in and the brakes can go either way and go like this or you can go like that doesn't matter what side they're on you just want to make sure that these clips are in here right you look at these clips you look at the old brake pad when you take it out but uh, it's got a little spring right here you and it's got a little long spot right here so you want to make sure that the long spot is away from the, the little offset here where it can clear it so you want to make sure you put it in there and uh, let off the brake the brake spring back now then we got that got our brake calendar here stick him back on there like that I like to squeeze those brakes with one hand, grab this. This is a little heavy. These retainer bolts here, the caliber go in, are kind of keyed. So you can orient those. Make sure everything clears here. Put our uh, caliper bolts back in. Stay out of the way of the camera here. Sometimes you gotta hold this uh, retaining bolt here. All right, now we're gonna torque down our caliper bolts here. They need to be at 56 foot pounds or 76 newton meters. So I'm gonna start back down. My torque wrench start, starts at, uh, at 10. So back to zero, there's 20. Back to zero, there's 30. Back to zero, there's 40. Back to zero, there's 50. And we're looking for 56 foot pounds. Two, four, or six. Now if I would've kept going back to zero, that would've been 60. So I'm at 56. Tighten down this six screw here. This is a 17 millimeter. So we're gonna tighten this down to 56 foot pounds. 56 foot pounds. 56. Six foot pounds. I said you want to uh, do that slowly until that torque wrench breaks away like that. You know, that's, your, that's where you're at. That's the technical way of doing it. And we're going to wipe this down. Real good. Right to in there. Put my finger in there and kind of check them out there. I'm gonna spray everything down real good. Brake cleaner evaporates pretty quick. Spray my rotor down. You get any kind of grease on your rotors or your brake pads, it'll cause your brakes to stick. So you want to uh, look out for that. But that's it. I just wanted to let y'all know I'm going to put links in the description for the parts at AutoZone and some of the tools. And please like, subscribe, and share. Hope y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.